I haven't made a video for quite a while and to be honest there hasn't really been a need to make a video because I haven't been able to drive anywhere because of obvious reasons and um, my, my girlfriend bought this Toyota Starlet 1997 1.3 CD uh, about six months ago and I've been wanting to make a video on it for quite a while but I don't really know what um, what angle to approach it from because it is just a pretty unremarkable car in many ways uh, but it's changed my view on driving quite a lot and I'm just going to go through a few things uh, as to why it sort of changed my changed my uh, outlook on driving oh and another thing uh, please forgive any continuity errors in this because I've filmed it over quite a few weeks just because I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to edit it so Enjoy! So why have you chosen a 1997 Toyota Starlet to watch? There's actually a very very good reason for this because what this car has sort of, I don't want to say enlightened, but what it's sort of shown me is that you can have a lot of fun with not a lot of power. Uh, it's got a 1.3 4EFE engine which is about 74 brake horsepower on a good day, um, but it is naturally aspirated. So having that sort of responsiveness um, really does make a difference. Uh, it's also got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant 5 speed uh, manual gearbox. Um, this is really Toyota at its best in the 90s because just the just such a nice feel. Um, it's not rubbery or you know, it just doesn't feel vague at all. Um, it's just got that nice mechanical shift to it. It's just, yeah, it's just lovely. Um, and it's only like a little 1.3 like hatchback, so it doesn't need to have such a good gearbox, it doesn't need to have such a good uh, shifter feel, but it does, and it makes it well. It, probably the best bit about the car I'd say. don't really um, stand up to it either so you kind of got to commit to your corner 
So what this car has shown me in sort of this few months that I've driven it is that even really quite unremarkable cars can still be good to drive. Um, it's just the things you engage with when you're driving. So shifting, steering, pedal feel, 